Hello and welcome in our demonstration of TestWell CTC++ test coverage analyzer from VerifySoft. TestWell CTC++ test coverage analyzer for C, C++, C Sharp and Java is a powerful and easy to use code test coverage tool, which shows the parts of the code which has been executed and then tested. TestWell CTC++ can be used on host for native projects. Please refer to our other video describing our integration within the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE for more information. If you look for an efficient and easy to use solution for your IT projects, TestWell CTC++ is your base choice. But today, we will see how it can be used for measuring code coverage in embedded targets and microcontrollers. Its main benefits are very low instrumentation overhead, performs code coverage in all targets, it works even with small targets and microcontrollers, and works with all compilers and cross compilers. We'll see how your code can be instrumented for analyzing its test coverage from within an IDE such as embedded workbench from IR. Just take uh, the regular C and uh, either files uh, in order to compile and link. But here in the process, we have the instrumentation phase, and this is done automatically by uh, the uh, integration within the IDE. All gray blue parts so, uh, are used by uh, our integration to generate the simum file. And what you just saw, it's uh, to generate a data file from the target uh, in order to produce uh, the, the report. Today, we'll use for our demonstration the IR Embedded Workbench IDE. Uh, which is uh, a framework integrating uh, all the tools uh, to produce uh, and flash uh, an application on your on your target. Uh, so it includes a compiler, linkers, and uh, source editing. And uh, <coughs> we uh, we made an integration with this tool uh, in order to integrate uh, two menus. Uh, th those two menus are used for um, setting up uh, the uh, uh, CTC instrumentation uh, on or off and uh, the instrumentation options, so the, the kind of uh, information we want to report in, in the tool. Also, you can select uh, which way will be used to uh, transfer the data from uh, the, the counters of the coverage analysis uh, to uh, the host for producing uh, the report, the final uh, document. So this is this uh, first uh, menu and the second menu, we'll see this uh, uh, later on. It's uh, the way to generate uh, the, the reports, so using various uh, formats. Here we'll use the HTML report, which is a full uh, browsable uh, format with a uh, very interesting uh, information to understand which part of your application has been uh, uh, checked or not. And uh, it will, CTC will even help you to uh, increase your test effectiveness ratio by indicating which part of the code has not been tested yet. Uh, so we can also here select which kind of coverage we want uh, to, to, to select. So, uh, we are using our prime example, which is a very simple uh, um, application using three uh, C source files and some header files. And uh, we just uh, take the, those files from our example, um, which is based on common line by, by default, and uh, um, for which you, we provide uh, a make file for Visual Studio. Uh, so we're just interested in taking the source uh, from this uh, example and uh, thanks to the integration we'll be able to uh, compile, link, uh, download on the target and uh, debug our application with or without coverage. So for our demonstration today, uh, we'll use a simulator feature of this, uh, of this tool which is very convenient. Um, if you don't have the target yet, or if you, you just want uh, to, to, to have a further um, checking uh, uh, without the target. And um, let's start by having a look at the, uh, the main uh, source code. 
uh, on which we put uh, a breakpoint um, in order just to see uh, the regular features of such an ID where you can debug so you can access to the memory, change values, step, uh, etc. And um, we just uh, need now to make the application. So for this, we use the make command. And uh, again, the integration is providing uh, all means in order to, to produce uh, the, uh, the make file that will be used by the compiler and linker in order to produce the file that you want to, to download to flash uh, your, your application. So there is nothing uh, needed from uh, uh, the user in order to get uh, instrumented code uh, for CTC++ to, uh, to analyze uh, your application. Uh, Everything is provided inside the, the integration and used through the two menus that we will detail uh, in a moment. So, I suggest now to uh, launch uh, a, a make. And then, uh, as you can see, we, we got um, uh, several files out of it without any uh, uh, warnings. So, once this is done, what we can do is simply download our application using a, a binary format to flash uh, uh, the application. So again, here we're using uh, the simulator feature, but it will be exactly the same on, on, on targets. And so now we have access uh, to the debugger with uh, uh, features such as stepping, uh, using breakpoints, I would just uh, uh, mention and uh, accessing to uh, a terminal I.O. to simulate uh, inputs from, uh, from the users uh, and uh, many other uh, uh, windows. So next step now is to just run the application and try to enter some values uh, to check if a number is prime one or not. And then, uh, depending on the values we just put, we get a, a report about the coverage of this uh, unit testing made by uh, the user on the terminal I.O. So let's run it. So first breakpoint is, is, is met here. So we have uh, the first execution. So we are asking to have a, a, a number and uh, to check if it's a prime number or not. So let's put a value. Go again. So five is a prime. OK, that, that, that's fine. So let's find now a number which is not a prime. So maybe it's enough. I don't know. I want uh, CTC to help me uh, to, to find out the coverage uh, uh, I have with those two uh, tests and uh, to get uh, the effectiveness ratio out uh, of this. So what I can show you here in this memory window um, we are actually pointing to a specific uh, array of data uh, called CTC array. And this is where CTC is placing uh, the counters value uh, from the uh, analysis. And this is what you need uh, to get uh, for producing the, the report. So uh, many ways are possible, but we just here using a simple macro. And from this macro, will be able to export those values in, in a file that the report tool uh, will use to produce uh, uh, our documentation. So let's uh, do that. So uh, CTC++ report, so HTML, as I mentioned earlier, with MCDC coverage. And uh, by default, we'll use the uh, internet browser that uh, you have as default and could be uh, Internet Explorer, Chrome, uh, Firefox, or whatever you want. Here I'm using the standard Windows uh, uh, Explorer. So the tool is uh, using two files. The first one, which is a uh, uh, modern sim, which is a symbolic information uh, with all uh, 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 data from uh, your application. And then a second one, which is a data file with uh, a coverage analysis uh, information. 
Okay, it's not a good uh, result. It's 79%. And I can see that here, for instance, on the calc uh, .c uh, functions, uh, I, I, I could be, uh, I could improve my uh, my results. How could I uh, improve these results? Uh, for instance, here, there is an interesting feature of a CTC++ uh, report. Um, as you can see, uh, the uh, Y pair that the MCDC uh, request for, for coverage are highlighted by, by the tool, so you can find easily which a combination is, uh, is done or not. Uh, here, I've done uh, any of them, so uh, I will need to produce either a true value for the first uh, um, operator, val equal equal one, the same for a second operator, etc. So I, I will need to produce uh, three plus one um, test cases in order to cover the MCDC uh, uh, function. So this is the end of our presentation and demonstration. Thank you for attending. If you are interested in getting more details, please visit our website, verifysat.com, where you can get all information about our products, technical description, brochures, papers, videos, and many more material. Feel free to ask us for a free evaluation. Goodbye and thank you.